And hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Aura, Fate of the Ages, and welcome to the world of Dragnest. If you remember, our intrepid hero, Umang, has come here carrying these sacred rings in an attempt to find Griffith so that he can get the rings to safety and they won't be captured by the um, rebellion that's happened back on his home world. So he's come here in this improbable looking airship to do this, but of course he's going to probably have to find himself answering another whole bunch of puzzles and that sort of thing before he can do anything. And Man, that is a long ways down. So, Griffith is here, not Griffith, Umag has made it, so it's time to start exploring. Let's see what we can find. And like I just said, that is a long ways down, and it looks cold out there too. So, let's see what's this way. Can't go this way yet, so I guess I'll have to go inside this place and talk to this gentleman who is working the easy puzzle. Why does he only have two empty spots there and like eight puzzle pieces around? I don't know. We'll talk to him anyway. Hello. Hello. I'm looking for Griffith. Can you tell me where I might find him? You don't need Griffith. You need Armagast. Who is Armagast? Armagast is the creator of the world Dragast, where you are right now. Without speaking to him first, there will not be much that you can do here. I trust that this is not where your journey ends. Of course not. Then go to him. Find the tram and it will lead you to his office. Thank you. Yes, yes, you're welcome. And that was kinda less than helpful, but okay, whatever. Oh, he's got a microscope. And I'm sure all that over there is probably important to something, but who knows. Let's go this way. It's a little annoying, now I can go this way. It's a little annoying because the problem we have here is that this bridge rotates. You see, that connects, but it doesn't connect there or over here. And I change it using this device, but I have no idea what to do with this device yet. So I have to go back in and talk to this guy again. Why you couldn't have told me that in the first place? Sorry to disturb you, but can you show me how to switch the bridge? If you close the door, you will see a diagram of the correct sequence to switch the bridge. Remember those symbols. You'll have to input them from the bottom part. And don't forget about the colors. That should be enough of a clue for you. And why could he have not bothered to tell me that before? Okay, there's our clue. We have a red symbol that looks like this, kind of looks like a three, a blue symbol that might be taken for a two, and a green symbol that might be taken for a five. Again, that would have been useful to know two minutes ago, but oh well. Now this was put into our handy dandy book, since the book is always with us. Remember these things from last time? Well, here's the new one at the end. There. See? The red symbol has a horizontal, two angles and a straight up. The blue symbol, straight, diagonal, straight, diagonal, that sort of thing. And remember we have to start at the bottom. That becomes important. What this means is, if I push these things, notice they change the color. Now the red was kind of that three-shaped symbol. If you remember, it had a horizontal. It went diagonally up to the left, diagonally up to the right, and then straight up. Yeah, just like that. Now I can reset it. The next symbol 
was a blue symbol which looked kind of like the number 2 if you drew it from the bottom. And I'll show you that one last time here. See? Horizontal, then up, 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 like that. So it has a horizontal. Then it goes diagonally up to the right, straight up, and diagonally up to the left. Yeah, just like that. And the last one is the green symbol, which I called a 5. Because it started out going diagonal, diagonal, straight up, and then to the right. See? Now the bridge is set. We can position the bridge to any position by clicking the right button. We're here right now, so I need to go to the right. So we're going to watch the bridge swing around. And now I can go exploring some more. Remember my usual comment about how you move from place to place without seeing the intervening space except on stairways? They still do it here. Now obviously they coded the engine so that they, you can see yourself walking. Why is it only used on this, on stairways? I don't get it. But, okay. I'm actually going to skip that from now on, because that's actually kind of long. There's a place here with a bridge and a door, but we really can't do anything with those yet, so... We're going to ignore those for now. And we're going to go down this way. This is the tram. Just another automatic sequence. I guess whoever built the world Dragmast here or Dragus just really liked being up high. Or maybe he was high when he built the world. That could explain a lot. But yes, wasn't that exciting? We Okay. Wait for it to stop moving. There we go. Now let's go down here. Oh look, a stairway I didn't move on and see what happens in here. We'll talk to this gentleman. Hello. Are you Armagast? Hello, Umang. How do you know my name? Your name is a secret? No, but... And that's why I know. I'm looking for Griffith. Do you know where I might find him? For what purpose do you seek Griffith? Arakon sent me to look for him. Arakon, you say? I suppose then I should try to help you. But if I tell you that Griffith is not here, what will you do then? I have no clue. I believe that you do know, but you are too afraid to say it. I do not have the right to speak of this. I understand your position, but it will not help further your cause. Let us speak openly. I know what happened within the clan. I also know of the goal of your quest. I will give you access to Dragast. I thank you. Only when you find what you seek may you return to me. Then we shall speak again. I understand. Good luck, Umang. Thank you. And I have no idea what all that was about. Um, he knows my name because it's not a secret, but he won't tell me what any of this other stuff is. And if he knew everything, why didn't he know where Griffith is? And uh, it's, yeah, whatever. And I'm going to skip this whole sequence because you don't need to see this again, do you? Let's see, we're done. So. I have to go solve the usual array of puzzles. We're going to start down this way. Okay, so now we're inside this uh, temple, or whatever it is. Um, you can see the big statue down there. That's one of the things we saw, or got added to our book. If you remember all that stuff that got added to our book here. Um, I'd like to go back to the beginning. See all these new things that have been added? This statue, which does all kinds of things. That's the statue. We gotta... In order to do it, we have to manipulate some things in here, of course. Starting with this little symbol. Which looks like something you'd use to summon Cthulhu or something, but in this case it's just a... pattern we have to match. 
And the place we have to match the pattern is right here. Each of these discs will move. If I spin one, they will all spin in unison with each other. And I can lock some of them by clicking on them. That will prevent it from spinning when the others spin. Now you'll notice that right now, this one and this one are in the correct position, but the other three are wrong. So I'm just going to start up here. I'm going to lock him. And I'm going to spin this guy. Everybody else spins in unison until he is matched up with where we want him to be, which is right there. So you see these two are now properly matched up with each other, and as a matter of fact, so is this one over here. You notice they've already matched up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spin all of these together until this guy gets into the right position, which is right there. Then I'm going to lock him. Now I'm going to spin these again. Since everybody spins in unison, they automatically go to where they belong. So now I've got three of them mapped properly. All that leaves is this guy. So I spin until he's in his proper position. Lock him. And then just spin them around until they're done. And you see, simple enough. And it helpfully shows us that lever being pushed over there. So now I'm going to go over here and flip the lever myself. And what that does... will cause the statue to spin around. Okay. And we'll just go down here and see where this leads us. Into a dark tunnel with a cutscene. Finally, I thought that I was doomed. I've been sitting here all day, blasted luck. I don't understand how this could have happened. You need some help. Of course. You can't just leave me here. Open this lock and let me out. Okay, I will try. Okay, this is the lock we need to solve. Basically, you notice how over here these pieces have a pointy top and a flat bottom, and over here they have a round top and a round bottom. Well, Coincidentally enough, these things have a pointy top and a flat bottom and a round top and a round bottom. So we need to swap the two sides of these things. Which, yeah, we can do that. So we're going to start by just moving him down here. Moving this guy to the center. I have to kind of move things around to get things out of the way so I can get enough to move other things. Go ahead and move that way up there because I'm going to have to. Because now I have to... Basically, it's simply a matter of shuffling things around until I can get everything to where it needs to be using this bypass down here to move things. Problem now is I have to get this guy down into the bypass, so I have to make room for him, like I just did. Okay, now this side's clear, so I can start getting the triangles to where they belong. And I'm going to move that one over one further. Because I have to move, do the same thing I just did, except move these out of the way so I can get that guy out. the top of the bypass. Okay, now I can bring these back up and around the proper way. And now everybody can just move into the right position. Did somebody leave a bath train here somewhere? Anyway, so we're done. Hit this button. And look, it works. Finally! Freedom! I can't believe it! What is your name, my friend? Umang. Well, I am Arcampus. You're not from around here. That's for sure. 
Here is the problem, my friend. Your being here is quite all right. Now, on the other hand, me being here is not all right. It's a long story, and you don't need to know the details. But oh, yes, I do. have a deal for you. What do you think? Well, maybe. Let's hear about the terms of this deal. Smart. Very smart. Okay, here it is. I will show you the key to the hidden passage in the main hall, but you can't tell anyone that I was here, especially not Armagast. Hmm. So what I get in return for my silence is a secret passageway? I just may have to go and tell Armagast that you were here. I like your sarcasm. So, do we have a deal? Follow me. Was that sarcasm? Here, really? look. The only thing you need to do is solve the riddle and another passage will appear behind the statue. I have to leave now. Wait! Aren't you going to help me figure this out? That wasn't part of the deal. I promised only to show you where the key is and that I have done. The rest is up to you. Good luck. Oh, calm down, Umang. That's what we're here for, is to help you figure this out. And really, was the fact that there was another picture hidden behind those obviously rotating boards a surprise to anyone? <sighs> I have to worry about Umang here if he needed help to do that. Okay, this is basically the same thing as before. We just have to do it again. Uh, in fact, notice this and this are already in the proper position. So we're going to do our usual trick. Lock this guy, spin him until he lines up. Okay, he's lined up. So these two are correct. Spin until position, and so is he for that matter. So spin until the third one gets into position here. Like that. Lock it. Oops. That was the right position. I clicked one too many times. Oh well. And we'll just spin it a couple extra times. There we go. So these three are, are correct now. Now all we have to do is just get this guy in the right position. There he is. Lock him. Spin these three until they get to where they belong. Just like that. Only took one too extra, one too many sets of spins since I clicked too fast there, but I think you can figure out what that was supposed to do. So let's go see where this is now. This very versatile statue. Well, in one click just moves it back to where it was, which doesn't really help us any. So I need to do it a second time. And it falls over backwards. Conveniently opening the way to that opening. How about that? Uh, should we stay behind the rope? No. And we come to this chamber. There's not too much we can do in here for right now. First thing I have to do is I'm going to go here and grab this mirror. Because I'll need it in a few minutes, not because I need it right now. Then I'm going to go over here, and there's some stuff sitting here. But if I move this there's these puzzle pieces under here. Now, who have we seen working a puzzle recently? Oh yeah, the annoying guy at the entrance. Let's see if he's interested in these puzzle pieces. So at this point I'm going to have to retrace my steps all the way back to that entry. So bear with me for a few seconds while we traverse large amounts of terrain again. This way, this way. Stop that. Okay. Still trying to figure out who thought this was a good idea to make you wander around this way all the time. And this guy. 
Hi. Where do we pick that up? Does this look anything like what you wanted? Let's see. Yes. That's exactly what I was looking for. See how nice everything fits together? Not bad. You may find this useful. Okay, notice that his puzzle pieces disappeared again, which is kind of weird. Uh, the thing that we may find useful is um, this. I kind of keep that symbols in mind, because we're about to see them again. So now I have to go back to where I just was. A little tedious backtracking here. Kind of dislike things that make us backtrack. Skip that. And that. Okay. Keep wanting to start humming the happy hiker, but you know. Da, da. No. Okay, I'll stop. What? Okay. I wish this thing wouldn't make those random noises like that from time to time, because you start wondering, wait, was that something I need to be worried about? Okay. This is where we need to do this. I'm going to start right here, because we have to use our mirror. Because the thing that isn't clear, and there's no reason why you should know it. I have to rotate these cylinders, these top two, and these bottom three, to match the pattern here. So they appear in this order. The problem is, I have to match them on the back side. Which is why I had to put the mirror there. Now, I can't figure out why it decided, or how I was supposed to know that's the way it was supposed to work. I only discovered it because I found I could put the mirror there and went, okay, that kind of makes sense. Well, actually it doesn't. So that's the first symbol. Remember, I'm looking back here. The second symbol is kind of this calipers looking thing. Uh, that thing. Third symbol is, well, it's the one that's already there. See, it's in that proper position there. Fourth symbol is actually also in the proper position, because it's that sort of thing, so all we have to do is put the little calipers thing again in the fifth position. That thing is going to the back. Right there. And we get a variety of machinery powering up. No good explanation as to what the machinery is for. Except our favorite lever flips again. That should tell us something. Yes, the world's most versatile statue has something else that we need to do to it. So, okay. That was literally the entire thing I was supposed to do here. And we're back in the temple here. So let's see what we can do with the our favorite lever. Stand the statue back up. Flip it again. Just to see if you were paying attention. And now it will lift up. And we can't go down there again, even though it's accessible to us again. We have to go through here and go through these grates. Yeah, it's dark. And I don't care what you smell, get in there. Okay, we're in this... base, this little shaft here. Um, I need you to look at these symbols. See how these are all pairs of symbols next to each other. Little arrows, little circular things, a little arrow and arrow receptacle and lightning bolt things. Because we're about to need those. And the reason we need to worry about that is because we're about to use those symbols over here. See this bridge? You'll notice how this bridge is down below. Well, we need to... and I don't know what those are. We need to raise that bridge. And the way we need to do it is this. 
you see, these are the halves of the symbols we just saw. And, but we need to move these so they match up with each other. For example, if I do that, to see how the lightning bolt matches up to the lightning bolt, like we saw a few minutes ago, and the arrow, and the arrow, and the curly piece, and the curly piece. The problem is, there's not just these four. There are other sets of these. In fact, there's a grand total of four sets of these. And we have to make sure that all of those match up correctly. So for example, over here, the only one that won't move, by the way, is this one. I'm clicking it now, it's not moving. You see, I have to get a, I have a big arrow pointing to the right, so I have to get a big arrow receptacle over here on the left-hand side. So that has to turn like that. Okay, now that is a possible combination, but there's another one, so we need to see what's correct over here. Yes, that's got the arrow piece. I can either put an arrow piece or a lightning bolt pointing off to the right. And over here, it has to be a lightning bolt. There's no other choice, so I need to go over here and change this one so a lightning bolt points off to the right. Now the four is still correct, pointing down, or the arrow, it kind of looks like a four. And I need, well, I need a lightning bolt pointing up, and a four off to the left, that should be correct. See, I don't have a choice of a round thing here. And the bottom one has either got to be a round thing or a arrow, and it's a round thing. So, that should be correct. So now I know to the right I have to have round thing, big arrow, lightning bolt, little arrow. So round thing, big arrow, lightning bolt, little arrow. Okay, now let's, since I know what's on the right, let's see if we can get these lined up properly. That looks like a good match, that looks like a good match, that looks like a good match. Okay, that was actually easier to do than I thought. So now it has to be little arrow, round thing, big arrow, lightning bolt. So we need to get little arrow, round thing, big arrow, and lightning bolt. So I need to get this rotate it around a couple more times. And there we go. The bridge goes up. Ta-da! Now the thing that bothers me about puzzles like this is that they're tedious. I mean, I enjoy this kind of game because they have the puzzles and the puzzles are fun to solve, but in this particular case, I solved the puzzle. I knew what I needed to do, but they made me do it a total of 16 times. They could have made me do it six or eight. I didn't have to do it that many times. It just seems needlessly tedious at that point. Well, anyway, here we have one of the tetrahedrons, which is what you remember we we're supposed to be finding, and yay, I have a tetrahedron. In fact, if I look at my inventory now, you'll see that we have the tetrahedron of Dragast, which is where we are. I can't match the rings to it. Nope, nothing there. But since this is half of what we're here for, and I've been going on for a bit now, I think it's time to take a break. So I'm just going to start heading back, and I will see you all again next time.